This time around, the question was emailed in, and it came from Tony. Thank you very much, Tony. Tony's question is, what about fear? I mean, all the time we, we talk about going and doing what you love to do, following your passion, stepping out on faith, and all of that sort of thing. And all of that is really beautiful and really wonderful and really fulfilling and really fun. But to do any of that, it means you have to deal with the possibility of doing something that scares you. What do you do when you feel fear? First of all, it's okay to feel that way. And there's a level at which, you know, it's just a feeling like a lot of other feelings. You feel sick or you feel tired or you feel anxious, you feel afraid. It's just a feeling. But on the other hand, you and I both know there's more going on than that. In fact, what you feel when you feel afraid, the butterflies in your stomach or the tension or the whatever it is that you feel when you feel fear, that feeling isn't fear. Fear starts somewhere else. You're feeling the result of fear. Fear is an idea. Specifically, it's an idea that something bad is going to happen. Somebody won't like you or you won't get the job or the boogeyman will get you or whatever. And you have that idea. And as a result, you feel a physical counterpart to that idea. So first of all, that's a wonderful thing to know. It's beautiful to have validation that the things that we think about have effect in our lives over and over again. Life is proven to us that mind is primary and causative. The things you think about come first and they make stuff happen. And so there's a level at which you might be able to grow to be the kind of person who can take all of those negative feelings and say, wow, this is how powerful I am. I can make myself feel this rotten. I can tie myself up in knots. What if I take those, that power, those feelings, and turn it into something positive by changing my mind? If my ideas can make me feel this negative, what if a new idea can give me a positive feeling. So there's a level at which it can be really empowering to recognize the feeling, to feel the way that we happen to feel. But more than that, let's think about that idea. Over and over again, there's evidence everywhere you look that the universe takes care of its own. It's a wonderful system where everything supplies everything else and there's beautiful growth and evolution and change and support and care. The universe takes care of its own. And so when I'm afraid that something bad is going to happen, what I'm really being is selfish. I mean, think about it. If, if I believe that here's the whole universe, here's everything, it's this beautiful system, and then here I am, all by myself, outside of that system, well, that's just about the most selfish kind of a thought pattern I can have. And like every thought, it is a self fulfilling prophecy. If you really believe that people are no good, that, that things are no good, that things are going to let you down, well, you will never run out of evidence to support your hypothesis. But it's still your hypothesis. You can change your mind about it. Fear of something bad happening is really just faith that that bad thing will happen, and faith is a very powerful thing. So take a minute and decide what you want to believe in. You know how powerful your thought is because you know what it's like to feel afraid or happy or joyous or whatever. It's okay to feel afraid sometimes, but take that moment, take that feeling, and use it as fuel to turn your thought around and place your faith, place your trust, place your hope in the idea that we're all in this together, that the universe takes care of its own, that maybe you don't know all the answers. But in this moment, there's one thing you can do, and you'll know what it is. Just do that. It's okay to feel the fear, but whatever it is that you have to do, do it anyway. Thanks for the, the questions. Thanks for the moment you've given me of your time. Thanks for working on these ideas with me. Thanks for sharing and subscribing the videos. Thanks for this. Take care of yourself.